Hi, my name is Alessandra Baez, and I am doing the NG tube um, insertion video today. I'm going to start by um, entering the patient's room with all of my supplies. Um, I've got my NG tube, it's an 18 French. I've got a pad for the patient's chest. I've got my water soluble lubricant, a uh, 20 to 60 ml syringe with an adapter, as well as a drink for the patient and a basin full of warm water. So since I'm bringing those in, I'm going to perform hand hygiene and introduce myself to the patient as the nurse who will be doing their NG tube today. I'll explain the procedure and what it entails. Um, I'm going to verify my orders in the computer and make sure that this patient is getting an NG tube. And then I'm also going to verify the patient using two patient identifiers, um, which is name and date of birth. So we have our correct patient here, Mr. Boxhead. And... Um, we're just going to start by performing hand hygiene and putting on our gloves. Once I've got my gloves on, I am going to ask the patient to um, lift their head and just let me examine their nose and examine those nares for any abrasions, make sure mucous membranes are intact, and then I'm going to choose the nostril that has the better airflow. So this patient's nostrils are clear. I'm going to go into this right nostril is the one that I have chosen. So I'm going to start um, by one, getting my NG tube out and putting it in a basin of warm water just so that it, um, it gets soft. It's not a stiff. Um, so once I've got that, I'm going to discard my stuff in the trash. And then I've got an absorbent pad, and I am just going to um, drape that on the <clears throat> chest of the patient. So we've got our absorbent pad here and um, I'm going to um, get my lubricants ready. So I'm going to open those and have them ready to go. And I'm going to have my tube. Um, I like to um, just draw back the air first so it's ready to hook into my tube once I've got it placed. So I'm going to have that ready in front of me as well and hand the patient their drink. When it's time I will tell them to drink. So now that our NG tube's nice and soft, we are going to measure the tube to the point of the insertion. So we're going to start at the nose, go to the ear, and then down into the stomach. So now that we've got our mark, we're going to mark it with some tape, which I've done here at the 65 mark. Um, and then I'm going to... Um, get ready to insert this into the patient. So by, to get ready, I am going to take my loop and really lube the tip of this NG tube so that it eases the insertion of the tube. Um, I'm going to start by having the patient lay their head back so that um, we can get this tube into the nares and the nose, um, into that oropharynx area. So I'm going to just brace the head and advance this into the patient's nose. I'm going to follow the natural curve of the tube so that it eases insertion as well. Um, if we meet resistance, we're just going to kind of um, gently push and see where the tube will go, making sure that the tube doesn't go into the patient's mouth. Um, so once we hit that oropharynx in the throat area, if we go into the wrong area, just remove it and reinsert it. So now that I'm in the correct time spot, I am going to have the patient um, Tilt their head down and take sips of water as I'm inserting it to help um, guide the, the NG tube down the patient's throat. If the patient gags or vomits, we'll just take a break, let them breathe for a second, keeping the tube where it's at. And then once they're comfortable, we'll continue to re um, continue to insert it to the point of the tape to the correct um, to the correct point. So um, I'm just making sure that. Um, the patient is comfortable while I'm doing this. Um, so now that <clears throat> we've got our tube almost to the tape mark, we continue inserting it to the tape mark. So now that it's at our tape mark, we just want to make sure that um, it's in the correct spot. So I'm going to check placement by um, attaching my syringe with the adapter, which is why I like to have it ready so that um, it's good to go. I'm going to take my stethoscope and put it over the patient's stomach while simultaneously um, pushing this air. Oops, I'm just gonna... So now that I'm listening to the stomach and pushing it at the same time, we're gonna listen for a whooshing or bubbling sound. 
and um, it seems to be in the correct area. If we think that the placement is incorrect, we can't hear it, we're gonna pull it out and um, reinsert it. And hopefully we get it in the stomach. Um, we can also verify placement once we've heard that wishing sound with an x-ray ordered by the doctor. So I'm also gonna um, attach my syringe and draw up some gastric contents and test them on a pH strip to make sure that pH is within one to five. Um, if it is, then with stomach contents. Um, so once I've got that done, I'm just gonna clamp the tubing until we get um, placement verified by x-ray. And I'm going to secure that um, tube using some tape. I'm just gonna make sure that it's secured to the nose like so. Um, so once we've got our tube secured in the correct place, and at the tape mark, we are then going to put a piece of tape onto the bottom part and safety pin it to the um, patient's gown. Um, once we've got it secured in both areas and we know that it's in the correct place, verified by uh, pH testing and the x-ray, we can then um, start administering medications or two feedings or whatever's ordered, um, intermittent suction, anything like that. Um, I'm gonna make sure um, once this is all done, we're done with the procedure. So I'm gonna return the patient to whatever's comfortable for them, um, make sure they're comfortable in the bed, their colleagues and reach their belongings over three each and that they're feeling okay after the procedure. Um, I'm then going to um, carry out whatever orders are left on the computer for the doctor, such as suction or the tube feedings. And then I'm going to um, remove my gloves and perform hand hygiene. I am then going to document, um, I'm then gonna document what I did um, during this procedure. So I'm gonna document that the NG tube was placed. I'm gonna document the marking uh, number on the tube. So I doc I'm going to document that I inserted it to the 65 mark, the size, which is an 18 French, if the patient tolerated it, um, and what care was provided if I cleaned the patient up afterwards or, you know, if they vomited, the care that was provided to that NG tube and making sure that it is properly taken care of. Um, I also want to document the pH of the gastric contents and what... Um, the characteristics of it. Um, if it was green, if it was brown, if it was black, coffee grounds, anything like that, especially if it's coffee grounds, we want to notify that provider immediately. Um, and once I've got that all documented, I am done. Thank you.